time for our Browns one-on-one -on -one interview, and it's always good to have alongside Joe Hayden. You should always have Joe Hayden on your corner of the world, whether it be in football or in life. Welcome back. I want to tell you, a great sight the other day on day number one, okay? It wasn't Miles Garrett being out on the field. That's great, okay? It was your wife holding on to your, to your son out here in his number 23 Hayden jersey. Wow. Tell us about the family. Oh, man, it, it's amazing. You know, uh, <laughs> it was his first training camp. And his name is? His name is Joseph Ali Hayden IV. Okay. I'm the third. He's the fourth. That's a good strong oh, name. Man. That's a strong name. Super excited, man. <laughs> like, him being out here was, was great because I always get to see, for seven years, get to see all my teammates have their kids out there yeah. playing with them on the field right. after practice. And uh, it was just amazing to have my little man out there. Well, he looked great. I'll tell you what. He was in his Joe Hayden jersey and ready to go. That's, that's tremendous. That's what it's all about. Okay, the other thing it's all about, too, is that you're healthy and you're on the field. And uh, you had a tough off season, I'm sure, because you, you had to have surgeries, right? I had double groin surgeries, double sports hernia surgeries um, you know it was tough but at the same time the rehab was pretty fast uh, I went after it I was able to be in Cleveland a whole lot longer um, so I got really good rehab really good treatment and I'm 100% full go for a training camp so you have dealt with the chapter that a lot of NFL players deal with and nobody gets on through unscathed mm -hmm. throughout their career but you have dealt with the fact that you have been injured right mm -hmm. the last couple of years and it's the physical part, but what is it like the mental part, not being able to go out and play, wondering when you're going to get healthy, if you should go out and play, mm -hmm. if you're close and you're wondering, should I go out? Yeah. Um, especially since it was two years in a row, mm -hmm. you know, I was never knock on wood. I mean, I've been had a very healthy career through high school, college, um, and my NFL career until the previous two seasons, concussions, and then last year, you know, having those uh, double knee uh, surgery after the eighth game. Just the mental that comes after me is that I know I want to be here for my team. I want to play. I want to do everything I can, and at the same time, just not being physically able to help your team you know what i'm saying so it's it's a tough it's a tough spot but when your coaching staff and when your teammates and when your training staff know that you're doing everything in your power mm -hmm. to get back out there uh it's not nothing that's that's that you're doing not to get out there so it makes it a little bit easier with that but it's still tough knowing that you can help your team win games so a lot of people look at this team this year and they say okay offensively uh, the Browns are going to have to grow throughout the year. But I think a lot of people are saying, hey, the defense at the start of the year should be ready to go. What do you think? I feel like we have, a, we have a long way to go right now, but as far as just the ability, the coaching, the way that the players are coming about, just practicing, trying to learn, learn the scheme. Um, and uh, Coach Gray, the thing I love about him, he keeps everybody accountable. He's on the line, he's on the linebackers, he's on the safeties, he's on the corners. He's and an equal opportunity. He's an equal <laughs> opportunity. So he's not gonna, he's gonna cuss the DBs out, the corners, and then his next team like in safeties, and then go to them and let them know what they haven't done. So, I mean, it's just everybody wanting to play up to the standard, um, and he's not giving us nothing crazy. He just, he coaches us up very well, and he wants us to go out there and execute exactly what he coaches us up. So a guy like Jason McCourty played for him, Mm -hmm. Do you tap into him a little bit and say, what is it really like to play underneath Greg Williams? I mean, he, he said when he was in Tennessee, he played with them, but he wasn't the D coordinator. He said being here, he has a whole lot more, uh, <laughs> a lot more power, you know, so yeah. he's able to just get after it a little bit more. So Jason's even a little like, man, he wasn't like this in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it's great seeing you back. It's great seeing you healthy back out on the field and back out on that corner on the Browns defense, and we look forward to it all year. Thank you. I really appreciate it.